Hello everyone, today I will be showing you how to clear up your RAM, CPU, and disk usage. To start, go to the search bar and type in run. This little run tab should open up. What I want you to do is type in services.msc and click OK. The services window should open. After that, click on any of these options and press the S key. You will be looking for one of two options, depending on what kind of computer you have. You are either looking for an option called Super Fetch or an option called SysMain. In my case, I have SysMain. This startup type should be on Disabled. If it is not, right click it and click Stop. Then right click SysMain, click Properties, and set startup type to Disabled. Press Apply and then OK. You are free to close this window. Go back to your search bar and type in Run again. Inside of this window, type in SYS dm period cpl and press ok this will open up a system properties window go to advanced underneath performance press settings inside of the settings click adjust for best performance press apply and wait and then press ok you can close this window right click the windows button in the bottom corner and press task manager this will open up your task manager window Go to your startup tab. This is where you will see every single application on your computer that can start up upon your computer starting. Carefully look through each one and disable ones that you know you don't need. The more applications that start up when your computer starts, the slower your computer will perform. Any option you want to disable, simply right click and click disable. You're then free to close the task manager. Next, click your file explorer. If it's not on your taskbar, go to your search bar and type in file explorer. Click on this PC and check your devices and check your C drive. You want to make sure you have at least 50 gigabytes of free space. This will ensure that your PC runs at optimal performance. You can close the file explorer. Go to your search bar and type in Windows and find Windows Update Settings. If it's not showing up, just type in Update Settings. Window Update Settings. This will open up a settings window. Check for any updates that need to be done. Close your settings window. Go to the search bar and type in power and click choose a power plan. This will open up a power options window. You should have multiple plans available here. You want to choose high performance. If you don't have that, click create a power plan and click high performance and name the plan how you would like. Click next. You can choose when to turn off the power display when it's on your battery or when it's plugged in and then also choose when to put the computer to sleep. I have two options since I'm using a laptop. If you have a desktop, you'll probably only have one. Then press create and choose high performance. You can close the power options window. Go down to the search bar and type in run again. Inside of the box, type clean MGR and press OK. This will open up a disk cleanup option for your OS. You can feel free to choose every single option and tick every box. As you see, I have 12.7 gigabytes of disk space being used. Every option here is inherently junk that is not needed on your computer. Press OK and click Delete Files. This may take a moment depending on how many files you have selected. Once that's finished, go to your search bar and type in Run Again. This time in the box, type in Temp and press OK. Press Continue if you need to. Inside of this Temp folder, you will might see a bunch of files. These files are not necessary. Click inside and press Ctrl A. This will automatically select every file and then press the delete button on your keyboard. Whenever you are optioned to skip, press skip. Once that's finished, you can close the file explorer. Go to your search bar and type in run again. This time type in percent temp percent and press OK. This will open up another temp file. Select them all and press delete again. If any options come up to skip files, press skip. You will notice that after deleting files, you will still have some in the folder. This is fine, leave those files. Once that's finished, you can close the file manager. Press the Windows button, the power button, and click restart to restart your computer. You should now notice that your computer is running much more smoothly. Thank you all so much for watching the video. If you liked it, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one. Bye.